بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از اے ٹرانسلیشن آف درس گیون بائی امام راشد صاحب آن احادیث آف دا ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ مسلح علیہ محمد و علیہ محمد کما صلی اللہ علیہ ابراہیم و علیہ آل ابراہیم ان کا حمید مجید اللہ مبارک علیہ محمد و علیہ آل محمد کما بارک تعالیٰ ابراہیم و علیہ آل ابراہیم ان کا حمید مجید Imam Sahib is saying that our beloved Lord and Master, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu blessed sayings are constitute treasures of um, knowledge and uh, wisdom and it gives, the study of them gives one peace of mind and also opens doors on the paths towards the nearness of Allah. Today, two traditions in this regard will be uh, presented. In the first, Hazrat Anas um, reports that once the Holy Prophet Sallallahu went to inquire after someone's health, and this also uh, informs us that if someone becomes ill, then his friends, um, relatives, etc. should go and visit him. and ask after his health so when the holy prophet sallallahu arrived there he saw that because of the extent of his uh, illness the person had dried up and to the size of a chicken he was extremely ill and he was extremely um, weak and he almost looked like a like a chicken like a small chicken The Holy Prophet Sallallahu seeing his state, asked him, Did you not pray that Allah should um, uh, remove your illness? And did you not pray for health? He asked him, that it, Had he not prayed uh, for health and safety from Allah? And the man responded that uh, he, used to do, he used to do this prayer, that, Oh Allah, whatever... Um, punishment you have you are going to give me in the next life for my sins give it to me in this world Imam Sahib saying that everyone has their own uh, thoughts so he thought that this was the best way to to pray but the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in, in an extremely ex- surprised manner he said Subhanallah that remember you cannot bear the punishment of Allah and neither do you have the power to bear it so if what you said that um, you should have you should get the punishment of your sins in this world did you have the power to bear that and look at the beautiful um, answer the Holy Prophet Sallallahu gave him he said to him that why did you not pray in this way that oh Allah give us good in this world and good in the next world and protect us from the punishment of fire so this um, this uh, teaches us that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu used to give the best advice in a particular circumstance so this prayer is extremely incredible because it has a very co- comprehensive prayers com- comprehensive words encapsulates a huge amount of um, goodness for us because it says that oh Allah protect uh, grant us good of this world and good of the next world and protect us from the punishment of the fire so we should memorize this prayer and we should um, benefit from it the next tradition hadith is to do with forgiveness so one when one asks for forgiveness it's there are different aspects to it and this is um, one of the ways of understanding this subject is can be gleaned from the following tradition. So this in this tradition, Hazrat Anas Razanho, who is very famous um, companion of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu who used to serve the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and he managed to, uh, he had the honor of serving him for many years and he got a lot of love and kindness from him. So he reports that Allah becomes so pleased by uh, a man's Um, repent, repentance that a man who who has lost his camel in a desert which which has everything that he owns on it and it returns to him which was be, after it, it had been lost in um, Arabia people used to put all their belongings on a camel when they used to go somewhere 
and if they had lost that if they lo if they lost that camel it was like losing everything in the world so if at that occasion the man bows towards allah and he um, repents and he um, asks for forgiveness then allah becomes so happy at this act that it's more than a man who finds his uh, lost camel and in another narration of this tradition it's uh, we find it in, in a bit more detail we find this particular uh, tradition described in more detail in that it says that the holy prophet sallallahu said that how much does allah get pleased he gets pleased more than that man who has this accident occurring to him that in a jungle de desolate a place he loses his camel which has his food his drink and he becomes completely empty-handed and he becomes extremely anxious and he started searching for it everywhere and when he completely became de despondent then he became becoming extremely grief stricken he lay down uh, with the the shadow the shade of a tree so after he had searched he became completely hopeless and then he lays down beneath a tree and in this state he goes to sleep and suddenly when he opens his eyes he sees that his camel is standing right next to him so he starts jumping for joy and he holds the he holds the bridle of the camel and he um automatically he could not help but exclaim uh, imam sabi saying that sometimes one cannot um, control what one is uh, one's emotions and the same thing happened to him so he said in that state he said oh allah you are my servant and i am your lord so he um turned the words upside down instead of saying oh allah you are my master and i am your servant he said oh allah you are my servant and i am your lord so he was he was confused because of the um, the excessive happiness that he felt so if when someone is uh, born and when they when they live in the world they um, perform they commit sins and they then if they turn to allah and ask for, asks for forgiveness then allah who is extremely merciful and forgiving and allah it makes allah very very happy and this is why the status of repentance and forgiveness is so so great in islam and a man is extremely weak and uh, commits um, sins throughout one's life so we must always ask for forgiveness and in this way we must ask for allah's mercy and allah's forgiveness and we should mention this prayer in in our lives very often which is a prayer that allah himself taught in the holy quran that that is rabbi ghfir warham wa anta khairur rahimin oh my lord please forgive my sins and have mercy on me and you are the most merciful of all those who has mercy allahumma salli ala muhammadin mubarak wa sallim inna kahmidum majid